right is the old uh, Columbia High School. It's uh, run down, shut down. We used to skate there a long time ago. We used to have a uh, what was it? A, an old old drink machine that there's an old drink machine we lay down the stairs and do tricks down it now this is a pretty old little town I would imagine that there's a bunch of different historical sites which I just saw a really cool cemetery hoping that this would uh, take us back to that cemetery and now we're on the school campus um, really don't need to be here or back here cemetery is right there to the right of us. I just wanted to make a little, do a little sweep through. Okay. Check that out, McGriff. Doing it hard. This one.
That should do. We got an above ground tomb right there to the left. That one says 1918. Still pretty old. Big old one for uh, the Davises. Eighteen seventy three to nineteen oh three. Nineteen twenty six to two thousand fifteen. He grew nice and old. He lived a long life. I'm sorry. Kirkland, 1900s, I didn't know that we'd be able to drive through the whole thing, but this is called the Columbia Cemetery. Campbell's got a nice lot. I've got 1835 to 1907. That 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 person uh, lived a pretty long life too. Eighteen oh eight. Eighteen thirty three, eighteen twenty four, another eighteen twenty eight. Here are some of Columbia's first settlers and many others who shaped the town long and storied history. Many elaborate headstones abhorn these abhorn the grounds. The oldest marked grave is that of William J. McGriff, an infant who died on June 10th, 1839. Uh soldiers back here man there's there's some serious history to this uh, cemetery so that was our that was our drive through that was our cemetery for the day What's next on the list? We are in Colombia. I guess they consider this uh, Houston County. And 134 goes that way. I've never, I've never been off of this road, so I don't know what's down any of these side roads, which could be some real treasures to look at and find, but we're about to come up to, I call it the, I think it's called the double bridges, I'll call it the double bridges because we're going to be going over two bridges, but there's an island in the middle so we're gonna stop off at the island in the middle 
to show you guys something if it's still here. All right, before I was a tattoo artist, I was a home builder. I remodeled the homes. I remodeled homes for myself about three years, two and a half, three years, something like that. And a lady called me from right out here. And she wanted me to, <laughs> of course, do some work for her. And when she said what she said, I couldn't help but come out here. She said she wanted me to put a trailer in the trees. A, uh, all right, we're in Georgia right now. An Airstream trailer. Those of you that don't know what an Airstream trailer is, it's one of them silver ones that look like a silver bubble spaceship. So I came out here and the property that all of the, all of them are up in the up in the sky in the trees was on one side of the road but she was on the other side of the road in another little tiny airstream trailer She was inside this son of a bitch eating a tub of peanut butter. And across the street, she owned that piece of property right there too. That all the airstreams were in trees. Literally. They're, they're, they're in trees. And there's decks that go from one to the other. If you ever seen that old cartoon called the Mon Chi Chis, and they are all gone. They were right there. Oh, wow. Are they gone or is it this one? No, they're right here. That's where it is. She took the uh, took the fence down. We're gonna turn around, try to get a better look at it. This is the Columbia Area Boat Ramp Picnicking Mobile District. Visitors welcome. But this isn't, I mean, there's a river down there, but that's not exactly what I'm here for. You can see to the left, there's an airstream up in the air. Right up there. There used to be a fence right there. Looks like she moved another camper in down there. Um, you can't really see the other airstream. That's behind that shed. But nonetheless, it's in the air. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. The, the, the lady's nuts. A good idea, don't get me wrong. But 
I mean, this lady looked like Mimi off of Drew Carey. The Drew Carey show. I might be talking a little old for some of y'all. But Mimi was this big old lady that just caked on makeup. Looking looking like a clown for real. But anyways, that was that. looked like it was a little bit more run down than it was before. She claimed that she uh, traveled around the country as an interior decorator, I suppose. How much I believe that? Uh... I mean, she might be. You can't really... You can't really say anything, you know? You, you can't say that somebody wasn't. Just because they're crazy looking. I mean, she was... What's the word that I'm looking for? She was eccentric. Very eccentric. And, uh... Hey, let's walk ride down this section for a second. So, who's to say that her being that eccentric didn't help her out on being creative? I mean, she tried to be creative with herself by 